Good morning. Today we are in Palm Beach and we're going to be doing a little shell collecting. We're going to uh, check out what is here. So again, I'm, I'm still on the east coast uh, of Florida. Uh, the reason why I wanted to come over to the southeast coast here is because the Gulf Stream current uh, brings um, some more tropical species up this way. So these are shells that you can't get on the west coast of Florida. So uh, we'll see what we can get. The west coast of Florida is world renowned for shell collecting, but not everyone knows that Florida's east coast, and in particular, southeast coast, can be just as rewarding. While you may not encounter the endless piles of shells here that you would at Sanibel, for example, you will see that Florida's southeast coast beaches can provide a more diverse array of shell species, and this is because the warm and tropical Gulf Stream current flows north just offshore here. From the Keys northward to around Fort Pierce, one may find many types of tropical shell species washing up on shore due to the Gulf Stream current's impact here. This is why I'm particularly excited to see what I can find here today. All right. So I just made it down to the beach. And it's a lot of shells, so we're gonna be checking everything out here. Beautiful, lovely, lovely weather. And um, we're gonna enjoy the beach here. So let's do it. Look at this beautiful water. So pretty, man. Wow. It's so pretty. anything sometimes should we start our day off with an olive and a some kind of clam half of a green star cell ah, ooh, getting wet getting wet okay All right, let's get down the beach Another bittersweet. I love bittersweets. And I can only ever find them on the East Coast. So this is a bittersweet, but it's a little bit faded. Still pretty though. It's found a nice little green star shell. Again, this is a type of shell that you cannot find on the west coast of Florida as it is a tropical Caribbean species. Another little shark eye here. I have to get into the ocean at some point because I hear those 
shells tumbling in the waves there. Look at that beautiful turkey wing. I hear the shells a tumbling. So beautiful here. This beach is so beautiful. The water is like aqua blue. I love it. Really pretty little calico scallop here. Look at the color on that. Look at this scotch bonnet, y'all. Wow. Beautiful. Another scotch bonnet. Perfect condition. Beautiful. I don't want to jinx it, but I am finding quite a bit this morning. And I definitely don't want that luck to run out. Another scotch bonnet. I'm not making this stuff up, y'all. Nice little apple murex. They look different than they do on the west coast. Another beautiful shark eye here. Wow. Let's keep looking. What do we got? Some olives. Let me know if I miss anything in the comments. I definitely don't need any more olives, so you don't have to mention if I miss an olive. There's a piece of a Florida horse comp. Wow, there's piles of shells here, y'all. See some augers, olive, man. Nice little serif, another olive, auger. Look at this, another olive. I mean, this olive is in really good shape. God, all I see is olives. There's literally olives everywhere. Another one here. Another bittersweet. I love, whoop, my sunglasses too. Definitely don't want to lose those. So I best put them on. I mean, I like olives, but I have too many of them. So, another pretty bittersweet here. Ooh, huge bittersweet here. And tongue up here. Beautiful shark eye. Guys, I'm just keeping the camera running because I have to. Another turkey wing. My hands are gonna get Scotch bonnets today so far. Nice. Uh, 
another uh, beautiful shark eye. All right, I have too many shark eyes now. That's a huge nutmeg. My gosh. Big, big nutmeg. Another bittersweet. I feel like I could comb through these piles. I gotta apply some more sunblock. Whew. What's up, y'all? Don't mind me. Just looking through these shell foils. That's a, this is a Florida fighting comp from the East Coast. They look a little bit different than they do on the West Coast. I'm gonna keep this because I don't, you don't find too many of these on the East Coast. It's a piece of a, uh, lightning, uh, lion spa. Really nice olive here. Another lion's paw. Man. Was there a storm or something? It's like someone came here with a dump truck with a bunch of great shells and said, nope, I don't need these. My gosh, man. Beautiful bittersweet here. I love bittersweet clams. They're bitter and they're sweet. And I, ooh! Ah, oh, it's broken. I'm still gonna keep that though. That's a that's a cowrie. I don't know what type of cowrie though. But that's still cool. Wow. Ah! Then we got a bittersweet and a cowrie. Guys, I literally don't have enough space in my pockets to store all this. Or in my backpack for that matter. <laughs> not even facing the camera at me, I'm so excited. Alright, let's keep going. Guys, you are not going to believe this. Oh my god, look at this. A lion's paw and and haha -ha, a helmet oh my god this is so cool dude both of these right there and a green star shell and I'm not kidding guys I just found the shark eye too oh man what a hunt what a what a find I don't have any more pocket space Holy crap. Another shark eye. Look at this. Oh my god. I can't pick anything else up. That might have been the single most awesome shells I found in 20 seconds. Unbelievable. Holy crap. This is so great here today. Woo. Palm Beach, y'all. Oh man, look at the size of this shark eye. And another one. Ugh, I'm dropping them. 
Oh my god, this is like kingdom of seashells here. There's like too many to pick up. I, I don't have enough. size of this turkey wing, man. <laughs> I'm so happy. This is so cool. What? A whole bunch of seashells. Oh my gosh, look at this. I don't know what this is. I have no idea what kind of moon sna uh, snail that is. I have never seen that before. Look at this. Come on, come into focus. I don't know what that is. I'm going to have to get a photo of it after. Oh, that's some type of conch. My guess is a broken hawk wing. I'll keep it. Ah, my first bowling guy olive, bowling brown olive. That's cool. Never found one of those before. That's what they look like, huh? Nice. Another beautiful little nutmeg. Alright y'all, I just found a baby. I think that's... God, it's so small. I think that's a mouse cone. But it is extremely weathered. I'm still gonna keep it, because that's cool. And I just found a juvenile... Uh, if I can get the thing out, a juvenile hawkwing. Look at that. There we go. Just a juvenile hawkwing conk. So cool. Wow, just getting his lip too. That's amazing. Ooh. Nice little lace murex or toasted coconut as Ronald Lusk calls them. Another bittersweet. Another one here. Can you tell I love those bittersweet clams? Another one here. Okay, ah, oh, beautiful lion's paw. I just set the camera down to get an ocean shot and I saw this, so. Woohoo! So, this is a little queen conch roller. Again, I told you uh, some of those Caribbean shells do wash up here. That, I'm definitely not gonna keep that. I found a lot of those in Turks and Caicos, but this is a queen conch roller. It's been in the sea for a very long time, rolling around. Roller! And I just looked over here and I found another huge beautiful bittersweet clam not making this stuff up guys y'all I found another one nice little queen helmet beautiful with a, with a little turkey wing gorgeous Okay, I just found the biggest bittersweet clam I've ever seen. Look at that. Mondo. Mondo. Bittersweet. I want to juxtapose that to the beautiful blue water of Palm Beach here. Look at that. Has anybody seen it? Is this real? Look at the size of this. That's a turkey wing. Oh my god, I'm gonna keep it, that's huge.
Green Star Show. And right next to it is a little lion's paw. Look at those beautiful shells. Now here's not here's something I don't, you don't usually find every day. This is a sundial. That's cool. Look at that. Look at this. Another nutmeg. This one's even better than the other one. Quite a few goodies uh, in this pile, so I'm heading back from where uh, I started my walk today, and I'm gonna sift through uh, this pile of goodies here because I find stuff like this little pear whelk. Just found him. Oh my gosh, this is a Triton. I'm not sure what kind of Triton, but that is a Triton. All right, so I just found, sifting through, an Atlantic Distorsio. However, it is broken, but I'm definitely gonna keep that. That's a really neat find. That's my first one of those ever. gonna believe this but I literally found another Atlantic Distorsio and this one is whole ah look at this this is so cool Wow All right, and y'all I just found a beautiful sundial look at that That was a pretty shell, though. So this might be the most beautiful olive that I have found on this beach. Generally, the tops are all broken off of them, but not on this one. This is the best conditioned olive. Did someone import it from the west coast of Florida? I don't know. Oh, guys. Right here. Look at this. Oh, hawk wing. Oh, my God. It's chipped, but... Oh, it's so... I'm so happy. Look at this. Woohoo! Oh gosh, I feel like I'm in Turks and Caicos. This is so cool. Nice find. All right, y'all. Another great find. Look at this. Wow. Oh man, it's an Atlanta Carry Triton. Look at this baby. This is definitely one of my favorite finds of the day. Holy. Sorry for swearing. Look at this. Look at that gorgeous shell, man. So I was walking along and I just found another Harry Triton. Look at this, man. I mean, it's got a hole in it, but that is freaking gorgeous. Let's go wash her out. Right here. You're gonna see it here. Beautiful blue water. Without the wave. Oh, and big wave. There you go, y'all. Beautiful Atlantic Harry Triton. Has a hole, but if you show it this way, you don't see it. It looks like a beautiful shell. Alright, so I want to show some of the great shells that I found today here at Palm Beach. Got a bittersweet Ascentus scallop, lion's paw, nutmeg, hawkwing conch, lettered olive, Harry Triton, queen's helmet, Atlantic distorsio. 
scotch bonnet sundial. Um, these are just some of the awesome little finds that I found today. But honestly, um, I found so much that I have a backpack full, um, and I didn't wasn't able to get into the bottom of it. But those are my finds for the day. I'm gonna close out my my day here at Palm Beach, and uh, I mean you saw all the amazing stuff that I found. Um, the east coast of Florida is, is such a great place. Um, some people say that there's no shells here. Uh, I guess it depends on the day, but today was an amazing day. A lot of stuff washed up. We got here early. We found it, and um, Palm Beach, Jupiter area is uh, whew, it's uh, rivaling the west coast for me on this trip, and you can't beat that beautiful blue water. Thank you all, and I will see you on that next shelling adventure.